Hi and welcome to surface area of a cone, sphere and pyramid. Just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're going to uh, begin by looking at cones and uh, if you are going to be asked to do anything to do with the surface area of a cone um, in an exam you will be provided with this uh, formula. The curved surface area of a cone equals pi r l. You'll also get this diagram which is showing us that r is the radius of the circular base, h is the perpendicular height and l is then the sloped length. Now, um, we're going to put that into action by trying to find the total surface area of this cone. Um, and the first thing we need to uh, remember is that this is a right angle triangle. And so we know what h is. We know that h equals 8. We know that um, r equals 3. But l, we don't yet know. l is this length here. And so because this is a right angle triangle, we're going to need to use a little bit of Pythagoras' theorem in order to find that hypotenuse. And so I would have 8 squared plus 3 squared, and I would square root that answer. So I'm going to grab a calculator and do exactly that. The square root of 8 squared plus 3 squared and that comes to the square root of 73. Now at this point I'm actually going to leave it exactly as that uh, because I'm going to be uh, typing in a bit more information in order to get my final answer so I might as well leave it as that. And it said that the curved surface area of that shape was pi r l and so we've got pi times the radius which is 3 times l which is root 73. But We've been asked for the total surface area, so we need to remember that the, uh, that formula only gives us the surface area of the cone, not the base. And so we also need to think about how we would get the area of the base, and that is simply a circle. And so it's pi r squared, which in this case will be pi times 3 squared, or pi times 9. Now, to get the total surface area, I'm going to have to add those two things together and so all I'm going to do is grab my calculator and I'm going to type in pi times 3 times root 73 plus pi times 9 and if I press equals I get a total of 108.799672 Let's round that to two decimal places. If I round it to two decimal places, it's actually 108.80. And so my surface area will be 108.80 centimetres squared. Now, if we uh, look at the next one, uh, we need to find out um, pi r l. But in this case, we don't know the radius of our triangle. Uh, sorry, of our circle. But same thing, we need to think about Pythagoras, but this time we're finding a short side. So we're going to do 10 squared take away 8 squared and square root that answer. Now 10 squared is 100, 8 squared is 64, so we're actually looking for the square root 36. So this time our radius is actually a whole number, it is 6. And so the curved surface area is going to be pi times 6 times 10. But the, again, we need to think about the area of the base, which is a circle of radius 6. So that is pi times 6 squared. And so what we've got here is 60 pi. Here we have 36 pi. We'll add them together, giving us 96 pi. And so again, just with our calculator, we can calculate exactly that. 96 pi. And that equals 301.59. So 301.59 centimetres squared. Now, next we're going to look at a pyramid. Now, a pyramid, you aren't given any information about how to find the surface area of that shape. But the reason for that is it should be quite easy for you to spot what, uh, what surfaces you actually require. Um, it is a square based pyramid. So the first thing is that one of the surfaces is a square. And then um, secondly, 
uh, around the outside we have triangles and we have four of them and those four triangles are all the same and so all we need to do is work out the area of the square which is 5 by 5 so the area of that will be 25 centimeters squared and then the triangles you'll be notice that we've got a base of 5 and then we have this marking here which is showing us the height of the triangle now that is not the height of the pyramid it's the height of the triangle and so the height of the triangle is 6 and so to find the area of that triangle we would do half of base times height so base times height is 30 and half of that is 15 so that is one triangle but we have four of them and so we have 60 centimeters squared for the triangles in total if i want the surface area of the entire shape i just need to do 25 plus 60 is 85 centimeters squared that would be the total surface area and finally we will look at the surface area of a sphere um, and that is 4 pi r squared and again if you are going to be asked to find the surface area of a sphere that is going to be given to you in the question in the exam that it is 4 pi r squared so let's try that um, here we have a football and a football has a diameter of 22 centimeters now our formula says that the surface area is 4 pi r squared and so that means we need radius and so from here the 22 centimeters is the diameter telling me that the radius is half of that it's only 11 centimeters for the radius and so to get my surface area all i'm going to do is 4 times pi times 11 squared and i'm just going to type that into the calculator 4 times pi times 11 squared and that gives me 484 pi or 1520.53 centimeters squared if we were given a hemisphere and we were looking for the uh, the surface area with this one we've got to be very careful um, the uh, the surface area is going to be the curved section but then it also requires the flat circular face and so the hemisphere the curved section of it well that's going to be half of what it would be for a full sphere and so the blue section that is going to be 2 pi r squared but then if we need to add in the flat surface as well well that is an extra pi r squared as it is the area of a circle and so what we actually have here is in total 3 pi r squared as the surface area of a hemisphere and so all i need to do here is 3 pi times 4 squared so that would be actually 48 pi and we'll type that into a calculator 48 pi and that equals 150.80 centimeters squared and so finally we come to the exam question it was from the aqa igcse higher paper and it tells us that a cone has a base r uh, base radius r centimeters and slant height l centimeters a hemisphere has radius r centimeters the curved surface area of the cone equals the curved surface area of the hemisphere find l in terms of r so in this case we need to think about the two formulas that we have been given so the curved surface area of a cone well that is pi r l the curved surface area of the hemisphere well that is going to be half of a full sphere so 2 pi r squared we've been told that they are um, they are both the same so all i need to do now is equate both of those and then i need to uh, just um, make this a formula that says l equals and so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to divide both sides by pi if i divide both sides by pi i get that r l equals 2 r squared but i want l all on its own so i'm going to divide by r 
if I divide by R on both sides, I get that L equals 2 R. And there we go. All we know now is that the, uh, the slant length of the cone is 2 times the radius.